Hello. <laughs> that was just. <laughs> 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 that was right at the beginning. Just. <laughs> Sorry, I had a flash in my throat. He's all right. Hello, everybody. Super chat catch Hi. up. EFAP mini uh, for The Flash. I forget which episode, but The Flash, okay? The one where we talked about The Flash, The Great The Flash. Right. Uh, I imagine mm. this is all going to be very positive in terms of assessments for this film. In the Gollum catch-up, when I, gay actor Michael Douglas, said Project 06 oh, was a wow. 7 out of 10, I was referring to the incredible fan remake, not the original Silly Massives. The OG is 11 out of 10, obviously. Oh, right. Sonic 06 is 11 out of 10. Project 06, the remake from the fans, is a 6 out of 10 or 7 or whatever. Yeah, that's fair. It's hard to recreate such greatness, such purity. Yeah. Um, also, I will say this movie absolutely disgusts me on a meta level, and I hate it. <laughs> Really? All right, well. You're far from the only one, as we discovered. The whole fucking internet hated this film. Instantly. Wasn't even a day, and it was already over. Mm -hmm. To be fair, Project 06 doesn't include any of the hub worlds, just every stage and character with plenty of hidden extras not present in the OG. Not even a hub world. That's why the original Sonic 06 is 11 out of 10. Why don't you play it? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's that hub worlds, man. I love those loading times. Recreating 06 town missions wouldn't be worth the effort, honestly. At least that's what gay actor Michael Douglas, me, thinks. I'm just, I like to find out what gay actor Michael Douglas thinks about all this stuff. Especially Sonic. You can always, you could just kind of tell from watching Michael Douglas films that he'd be into Sonic. It's always like a part Daniel. of it. Yeah. Especially like basic in instinct. Wall Street, when you're watching Wall Street, you're just <laughs> thinking like, yeah. man, what's all this for, you know? When is enough enough? It's like, well, it's only enough when I can just Buy every single copy of Sonic 06 that has ever been manufactured. Gotta buy, buy there, buy there, buy there. You gotta go fast, buy okay? There. And it's like, <gasps> my little warehouse. Well, it's probably a big warehouse, but you know. Thanks for EFAPing on my birthday, you massives. No problem. Oh, you're welcome. No problem, my dude. <laughs> Jake Wayne, Bat, Jake, Jake Man. They did it again. You didn't even get much of him, but yes, uh, they made him fucking weird. Uh, 89 Batman. Or, well. Tim Burton, Batman is probably what you called him. Um, I guarantee you a talented studio with a reasonable amount of time could have made an incredible 3D Sonic game. I'm gay actor Michael Douglas from the future and it hasn't happened yet. Oh, So, no, no great Sonic games since 06, even in the future. Uh, damn. Yeah. I, I mean, in here I thought Generations was okay. Okay isn't great though, is it? Wow, oh, what about Frontier? Ooh. Oh yeah, I hear, I hear that one's not great. <laughs> Wow. Uh, which actor would it be most disrespectful to revive for a cameo? Hmm. Well, the, whichever one said, absolutely do not do that. That would probably be the most disrespectful. Uh, well, I guess so, but I mean, in, with, beyond in the hypothetical, sense. it seems like uh, Christopher Reeve was pretty high up on that list. Um, so which actor is probably going to be someone resurrecting them in a state like like if they did an ai version of a, a victim of like some horrible event that needs respecting and they they did like an ai version of it oh i say what you mean that would right. be probably the most disrespectful thing you could do mm. uh, someone who expressly was like nah it's done yeah or it's over when i'm dead it's done you get y'all got it that's that's shit that, that's a problem for y'all to worry about i'm out which actor? Oh wait, sorry. Farewell and adieu to you, fair Spanish massives. Farewell and adieu to you, massives of Spain. I'm gay actor Michael Douglas, and I would like an EFAP on Jaws. I'm aware. I'm aware. You've mentioned this a couple of times. Maybe someday. Who knows? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe Jaws is a. Uh, it's definitely a, a maybe. Hmm. Greetings, Muller and Fringy. Imagine after the events of the Lord of the Ring Gollum, the crew watched the Peter Jackson trilogy to detox. I mean, yeah, it's not a bad idea. Yeah. If there's one thing that I, gay actor Michael Douglas, am wondering, it's which design the EFAP crew prefers between search men or search, oh, search man or search man dot exe. All right, this is the one and done, I guess, for the Mega Man. Search man versus search man dot exe. Oh. Oh. But which one's search man here? Okay, so we got this guy, I guess, is search man. And then... Okay. This is according to Google, by the way, so it could be wrong, but I assume this is right. That's searchman.exe. Oh, pff, useless. Ah, that's weird. Uh, I guess I'll just post it with Lightshot. Why not? Oh, goddammit. 
Almost done. There we are. So, which um, of these? I don't. Oh. Uh, so I don't understand. What is the exe? Like, what is that? Maybe is that's like dot exe is the game. I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. Uh... I mean, I don't like either of these. I don't like but, either of these. Yeah, yeah I'm with I'm with Fringy. I'd probably go with the first one. I think I'm gonna go with the first one too, because yeah. the bottom one just seems so like meh. Yeah. Like the yeah. There's some character to the first one, I think. There's some stuff going on there. I might not like it, but I think there's more. Uh, I wonder what those two heads are like. I wonder if they disagree on things. I wonder if that makes her an interesting character or not. I don't know, but yeah. Maybe one outranks first. the other. Uh, bu 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 yeah, see, because they've asked for Flame Man or Flame Man.exe. You're going to have to do one per, okay? Yeah, Can't be spamming them. Also, hi, Rags. Hello. And are two heads better than one? Typically, um, one is better than two, I'd imagine. It depends. If On your heads same get body. along, and if, they're, if your heads get along and you're oriented well... I think two heads can be better than one because like two brains thinking, solving problems, watching out for each other. But if they don't get along, then it could be way worse. Mm. They've got to be united as a team, you know. Mm. It's a team effort. Yeah. Hi, I'm gay actor Michael Douglas. I like the Indiana oh. movie. Ah, uh, oh, not Indiana. Indian movie. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, because it's good. Also, which design do you prefer out of the? That's the flame one. But I'm afraid we'll do one, and then hopefully you didn't send in like seven or anything. Um. So anyone going to talk about how Zod's blade and the gadget they used to extract the codex shouldn't have been able to penetrate Kara's skin, or what? Uh, it was kryptonite. So. Uh, yeah, but what about the uh, what about the suit? There is kryptonite. Have we seen the suit is impervious to uh is impervious to like bullets. Right. So we got to presume that fabric is pretty strong. That fabric is not immune to kryptonite. Was right through. It's kind of interesting because you know Kryptonians are just like regular people on their planet, but they built suits that are like designed to withstand forces that they would never be exposed to. Isn't it crazy? Like, why is Zod wearing that massive armor if you know he's just as fine with just as little like fabric, leather, what, whatever, whatever material that is? Not leather, but whatever it is. Spandex. Imagine it was just. Um, in our solar system, the whole place was, like, colonized and everything, and it's just, if humans from Earth ever went to Pluto, they just become superhuman. That's just a thing. So if you go there, you become a superhero, you can fly around and stuff, it's like, what? Damn. <laughs> we should really go uh, to that other planet, huh? Well, yeah, but, I mean, wasn't... Oh, well, then again, Zod's logic was, wasn't it? It was the yellow sun, right? The yellow sun is nice and chill, but he wanted the gravity to be like Krypton, uh, Krypton for some reason. Yeah, I think so. Which, uh, I mean, were they noticeably different? <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess so, uh, with that giant machine that they needed. Um, hi, Rags. Could you take a look at the RK62M2M3? Just wanted to know if you like the looks. I had the privilege of having one during my service. It's an excellent rifle. I haven't used anything else, to be honest. Although it sounds this sounds familiar. Mm. Uh RK six two. I think it looks alright. I'm not a fan of the stock though. I think the stock would be um really a pain in the butt. But it has a really nice uh, like metallic cold worry kind of feel to it. Um the yeah, the stock looks too much like a shovel handle. Uh all right, let me uh let me post sorry, let me uh post a picture here. Mm. But uh, yeah, I, I I like it. I dig it. It looks very. I like the metallic, um, you know, the the plastic grip and uh, hand guard. But you know, it, it has great gun vibes. I get good gun vibes from it. But that stock, I just I don't like that stock at all. Um, can't say that I'm a fan of the stock. Like aesthetically, as opposed to functionally. Yes, I like. I, uh, it. I'm not sure how functional it would be as a stock. It doesn't look that comfortable. It would probably be serviceable. It looks strange. It looks cheap. Yeah, it looks cheap. Um, it probably works okay. I'm not a fan of it. Uh, maybe if I was, you know, maybe if I had it and I could feel it, it would work a okay. But yeah, it's the it's the part that I would change. But it does give it a kind of aesthetic. It it, it looks really rugged. It looks like something that you could, you know, drag through the mud and dust and drop on rocks, and it would just keep on going. Uh, but yeah, mm -hmm. I like it. Uh, I like it. Um, this is 
Interesting. Uh, it's amazing how much money they'll burn just to protect Ezra. They were willing to crash all other IPs, but not him. So this would be Ezra, not Star Wars, right? I'm getting this mixed up. <laughs> it's just a flash. Bro, Miller, Miller, right? but like, but that's what I, I thought it's first, not, yeah. <laughs> my, I mean, I gotta imagine it's just because the film costs a lot of money. Like, yeah, that makes like, more sense to me as an explanation. They'd, they'd already done it. Name, I guess. Remember, I remember, yeah, I remember, yeah, I remember talking over. about this way back when all the Ezra Miller stuff came out that they were like, oh, fuck, because what's the choice? Rush well, it out? I think it, I think it reflects right in their, uh, in the fact that they didn't have any like press or anything like that it shows up at the premiere and then, and then gone, you know? Genuinely, in, in retrospect, like, they should have rushed it to release as fast as possible, no matter what you have. It doesn't matter. Just get it uh, out. Well, part of the problem as well was that they had the questions about how exactly it was going to factor into... The universe. Because their plans for the DC were like... DC Universe were changing at the time. It was kind of like... That's I mean, the thing, though. that film was probably never going to be good. Like, um, <laughs> I'm saying this with, with, uh, with hindsight, right? It's like knowing now... The it flopped. It's like fuck it. Oh anything, yeah, yeah. Just go for it. Push it out as quickly as possible. Who cares whether or not? Yeah, kind of like, like uh, you can treat it like Black Adam, right? Where it sets yeah. up something but goes nowhere. Everybody will move on and forget. Kind of like with the Mummy. <laughs> yeah, and then that's it. You know. Yeah, no, it, it doesn't ultimately do any damage when it's all going to be forgotten. So it's just like whatever. Fuck it. Get it out. And and for every uh, day that yeah. passed, uh, less and less likely it'll make money. So. Uh, it seemed that way, but uh, I, then again, I guess nobody was quite as prepared for how uh, hard it was going to be for superhero films this year. Well, you know, yeah, it doesn't seem like anybody was quite uh, aware of like how fucking cataclysmic a lot of the box office was going to be for a lot of these projects. Uh, super fun fact: allegedly, Microsoft slash Mojang is deciding to go the way of Blizzard and are taking down Minecraft mods with guns. Oh boy. What? Yeah, I've heard some stuff where if you have Minecraft mods or servers that use, like, guns in them, then they could be considered a terms of service violation. Okay, that's Which silly. fucking lame. Yeah. Can I just age restrict based on it? If, like, they're that worried about it? Like, have serv the gun servers where you're allowed to play with guns because guns are scary and you only wouldn't want to... Gosh, what, 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 will the, what will the parents think? Mola, firstly, the ground rules. Rags, yeah, dude, the ground is awesome. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah, the ground rules. That's pretty cool. Yeah, fuck yeah, ground rules. Hello, how much did they have to pay Tom Cruise? Oh, to, to say that the Flash was good? I don't understand that. I don't get what was going on there, where it was just like all of these attempts to convince everybody that it was going to be the best superhero movie from DC since The Dark Knight. That was fucking weird. I think they knew strange. it was going to be a shitter. I, I guess it's... Yeah, but I mean, you know, they they knew Shazam was going to be shit, and it reflected in no marketing. Or <laughs> like, no... Like, that film was doomed when it came out, but with The Flash, they put in this, like, extra effort to try and convince people it was good, and I think it might have had the opposite problem. It was like... It was so strange, it was so bizarre, how often there were articles saying, oh yeah, inside of Warner Brothers, they think it's going to be the best, you know, superhero film since The Dark Knight. Yeah, they think it's great, all these people think it's great. I think all that did was just get people primed against it. Because it's just like, yeah. why are you trying so hard to convince me? Why are you trying so hard in a way that is beyond... Why did you obviously <laughs> ask Tom Cruise to do this? <laughs> well, and, and then of course, when the film comes out, and I mean, you know... Remember, guys, The Flash is a fucking awful movie. That film is it's terrible. It's really bad. It's it's not that it's like, oh, you know, it's kind of mediocre and it didn't live up to expectations, or no, the reaction against it was overplayed. That film sucks. Um, that film is so bad <laughs> that it just makes you wonder, like, did no way they actually believe this, right? <laughs> no fucking way. How could they? Thoughts on the other Kryptonians having powers despite the masks and their suits being intact? That was a fuck up. I don't uh, think they cared or remembered about how Man of Steel worked, no. but even Man of Steel didn't exactly nail it. Well, no, because they were doing their big chongus leaps around the place in their armor. Yeah. Lego Batman movie did Let's Get Nuts better. Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it did. <laughs> the Lego Batman was... movie is, is a lot better than The Flash. <laughs> Hi guys, I first discovered EFAP two years ago, then I went to a rehab program with no access to internet or phone, so I'm having a lot of fun catching up. Thanks y'all for the content. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. And good to hear that I assume you're... Uh, yeah, uh, good to hear you're on the up and up. Back up to 
best self. And I hope you're doing all right and glad to hear you enjoy the show. Lord Longbong of Mibsonton Abbey. Is there any good chance of a Kong fap of Peter Jackson's Long Kong? When there's less going on? Maybe a movie fap for the ages. P.S. Hello, Wagsies. Scritches for the good boy. Ah, uh, hello. Yeah, there's a good chance of it. Mainly yeah, when there's, going on. When there's when not going as on. much going on, yeah. That's probably when, when we would aim to do it. There's a lot going on, Asaka. Mm. Ugh. That's true. Um, I like hearing you guys talk about movies for EFAP movies, but please don't make us wait until Halloween for another EFAP movies. I think, did the Descent one come out after that was said? I can't remember. <laughs> hmm. But either I way. I can't remember the timeline. Yeah, uh, uh, you've got. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's a bit clustered, but don't worry. Plans are afoot. Things are happening. Don't you, don't you fret. Well, Muller, if you're not going to put subway surface on screen, I need something to do. Also, hi, rags, meme, fringy, and not metal, Mister Sanders and Muller. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry, we'll get a subway surface regularly installed at some point. Uh, Barry's dialogue with Iris was all over the place. One minute he's like, mmm, and then the next minute he's like, this was fun. We should do this again. Oh, you mean, like, the suspicion levels? They didn't write her as well as they probably should. They made her quite suspicious, because of the whole... It really came across like she was only talking to him to try and get info on the story. Yeah, which I don't think is the, the read that they wanted us to have, but no. it's a pretty logical read, <laughs> given the way she was acting. Uh, did you guys see John Carpenter talking about making a new Thing movie? I really don't want that laugh my ass off. I'd watch it, but I didn't no. know about this. <laughs> I would watch it, but I don't know if I'm happy. Mm. I didn't uh, know about no, it either. I don't, don't need another. Don't need another one. Uh, Efab has been the best podcast I found since Sleepy Cabin. Y'all have great chemistry. I feel like y'all would have fun if Chris, Zach, or Corey could come on. I would enjoy that thoroughly. Um, they are yeah, welcome to cool. come on. <laughs> sure, I'm sure they'll jump on any second. <laughs> Here they come right now. Uh, quadrupling down on a cringe failed comic relief character by making two of him the leads was not a good idea. I have the. Uh, I had to have alcohol to tolerate them. It was a strange choice to double them up. Um, um yeah. Why you yeah. guys didn't love the two? To be fair, all what? of it was strange I mean, choices. Right. It, it, so it was amazing. All, I mean, it's it. I I don't even know. I don't even know how you carry forth like the Flash as presented in Justice League, both versions, and like make a movie where anybody would be interested in seeing that character again. Uh, Extraction 2 released last night, and it's good. Worth watching for sure that, uh, for that 27-minute long take action scene. I got big 1917 vibes, EFAP movies. Well, we did check it out. Uh, we liked it. I did watch yeah, it, and I, I liked, liked it a lot. Yeah. I could, liked a lot cool. of what Extraction 2 was trying to do, and I'm eager for Extraction 3 when I, they make it. So, yeah. And EFAP movies could be uh, made about it theoretically, but we've just got so many other things that we're doing right now. Oh, well, I yeah, guess uh, I, I know it was something that... Uh, that we said after we watched it that Extraction 2 is like John Wick 2 if it was successful at what it was trying to be, which is yeah. essentially how do we continue this cool action series? I think yeah. Extraction 2 is a way it's, more it successful it attempt. It well, did a good uh, job of taking the first Extraction and scaling it up, uh, but keeping like, but kind of like the same quality level, but I guess uh, it comes across it, as a little more impressive. I don't think it like completely destroys its world like uh john wick 2 does what? If you, but uh I'm re i remember thinking that extraction was like the stronger movie overall yeah uh, much more I probably enjoyed coherent. watching extraction 2 more the action was much yes, more impressive that, in the second one and the first ones was pretty good so the yes. uh the big long take that ended with the train sequence was pretty amazing was, yeah the whole prison sequence was like actually quite thrilling to mm -hmm. watch yeah uh, Flash travels back in time to look while changing nothing, falling baby scene, and then there are no alterations in the past. Therefore, he could go back in time to see who killed his mum and investigate them in the present. True. He could, uh, he, I we, guess... we figured out that he could indeed look at things without there being consequences, and he okay. didn't do that. But I guess, uh, Flash deemed that in, uh, insufficient in terms of... But he didn't, well, it's a, he didn't even do it, for. though. <laughs> like... At all. I don't understand how you could resist that curiosity to know who killed your mum. Well, to just find out, yeah. Molly, you misspelled Batman in the title. Well, <laughs> it ain't a Batman <laughs> movie. But it it's... is, but it ain't. But it is, but it ain't. Yeah. Kara was hot. Why drink a call her androgynous? I don't know. I thought she was hot as well. Uh, yeah, I think she's very attractive. She's a very pretty, very, very pretty lady. Kara? Uh, 
Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> she's a very lovely yeah, lady. I think she's, she's quite a pretty a lady. A comely lady. Yeah. I, I would invite her to the, the, the dad's room social or whatever the kids do these I days. Would, I would, yeah. She could be my square dance partner at the Harvest Moon Ball. Yeah. Hello, Meowla, birdie and the funny one. Oh, oh my god. Hey, check it out. Oh, damn. <laughs> you guys are pretty cool. Have some money. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Uh, the most entertaining thing about Elemental was them tweeting a poster saying, Unleash your wildfire, the same time Canada was burning. <laughs> they redacted oh, it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's awkward. That's I hadn't heard of that. that. I've not heard of that either. The only thing I'd really heard about was, what was it? That they were trying to really convince people that like this one comic relief character in the film was great and funny. Oh, and yeah. That was so like, weird, yeah. <laughs> But uh, Elemental ended up uh, kind of like doing okay uh, in terms of making money. What was it, the uh, final really score for it? Start, but I, I, think, I it... think it ended up at like something like 500 million. So it ended up being profitable uh, when it was expected to not be profitable at all. So it had a rocky know. start. Do you know what the budget was? Oh, yeah, was? it had a terrible start. Uh, oh, it's an expensive movie. It's like $200 million. Right. So profitable. Profitable is profitable, but you know. You know, like, compared to $200 million on Toy Story 4 and it makes a billion dollars, you know. Uh, there's two flashes because Warner Brothers misunderstood Ezra Miller's they-them pronouns. I get it. Hey yo. I've just finished my final day of working in retail, so I'd like to thank you all for being so endlessly entertaining through the darkest of times. No problemo. I remember podcasts were very helpful when I was in retail. Especially the traveling between... Um... Happy to be that for anybody. He likes games, guns, and he's from the South. I'll take Ragu any day. Hello. Hmm, that's good I combo. love games, guns, and I'm, I'm from the South, so, yeah. It's true. True. Uh, Even though you're, you're in the Northern Hemisphere, so how how's that work, Rags? Well. Ooh. Oh, wow. Ooh, and, got uh, your stump there, yeah, huh? you, Oh, man, yeah. I mean, it's all... My world is falling apart. Oh my god, I'm in the northern hemisphere like most of most people, but I'm in the south at the same time. Nuts. Mm. Indecisive. Where am I from? Uh, Where do I there's belong? A lot more south, there's a lot more south of the south in America, though. That, yeah, there is a lot more of, this, of south stuff than uh, south of America. So I almost feel like it's not, I don't know, I'm not sure about, I'm not sure about that. Maybe it should be called like the mid-south, kind of like the well, midwest. Yeah, it's like the Midwest and the South, because like Arizona, like no one thinks that um, like New Mexico Arizona is, is the, the South. south. Yeah, know, exactly. No one says that, you know, it's well, the South is uh, Southeast, really. Yeah, because California is southeast. South, but you know, it's not what people yeah. think of. Midwest yeah, is kind of funny. Is. It's it's really it's like yeah, I guess it is Midwest. It's in the middle and it's west of certain parts of America, but there's a lot west of the Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> like half the country is west of the Midwest. Uh, I get these. Uh, yeah, I guess as the country was growing, these names just yeah, that's around right. and they stuck around. So, mm. Aquaman sitting on the lasso is arguably more justified since he was already speaking his mind. So you could argue the lasso just nudged him further. I guess compared well, the, to the uh, Batman scene, are they talking about? Oh, um, in terms of him sitting on the like a, a reason for it to happen. I guess so, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's... I, I guess so. Hmm. Uh, the, the, neither of them are great as, uh, as, as beats. I think it's the only... Like, yeah, it's... It, the way that the lasso works, because she can compel the lasso to make people tell the truth. Remember the part at the end of, uh, of Justice yep. League where she just tied up the criminals and had them? Yeah. <laughs> Just disclosing everything to the police is like, aha, funny, funny. No, that's a violation no, that's of their civil liberties. That's right. That's not a heroic thing to do. It also tells, it does give us valuable lore on the way that the lasso works, which is people are not only compelled to speak the truth, but they are also compelled to correct the mistakes of other people. It also mm. means that people can tell untruths that they believe to be true. Wow. The first, <laughs> They're not ready the, for that, though. <laughs> yeah, because the first robber, he said something, and it was incorrect, but he thought it was true. And then the mm. other guy said, oh, no, 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 it was this other thing, when he was Which, unprompted to correct him. So we learned what? two very valuable pieces of information on the whip lore 
Yeah. Makes you want to see how like Wonder Woman deals with I don't know like a sleeper agent or something, somebody who's been subject to brainwashing. And then like the government would be like, get it on a part of a politician right now. We need to know are they gonna are they gonna do? Would you submit to Wonder Woman wrapping you with the lasso of truth and answering questions? And the politician's like, I well, oh, I, yeah, I, I have nothing to like hide, but I would simultaneously <laughs> not do something like that. I don't want because... to set a dangerous precedent for yeah. The and then they're like, you have a guarantee they'll only ask you one question. It's specific to this debate. It's just whether or not you'll do, like, something specific. He's just like, no, I don't think I will. It's just, uh, <laughs> you know, the, the Nixon thing, like, people want to know if their president's a crook. Well, I'm not a crook. And then Wonder Woman's just standing off in the corner <laughs> waving at him. It's like, I don't know. No, 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 I, 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 don't, I don't think that's, that's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> I don't think that's necessary. I'm not a crook and take my word for it. Uh... Grant Gustin alive. Uh, oh, the guy who plays he's a uh, CW Flash, right? Flash yeah. guy who I've heard is a lot better. <laughs> Remember, if you have any questions from here on out, every question and problem can be solved with spaghetti. Much love, everybody. Hey. Hi, Rags. Hello. I mean, yeah, spaghetti's neat. Mm. I, I was, like me some spaghetti. I was dumped today spaghetti. on my birthday. Oh, no. Wow. Damn. Jeez. Damn. You know Damn. Anyone who dumps you on your birthday... Man, you you dodged a bullet there. Don't don't feel too bad. <laughs> as far as I, you should be like, man. Thank goodness I didn't go farther with that lady. Jeez. Hopefully things are a tad brighter for you at this point, uh, since this was a bit ago. Uh, hey, massives, play little nightmares. It has a very neat soundtrack, mixing a lullaby sound with a creepy vibe slash atmosphere. Also, high rag, fring, and mules. Hello, well, howdy. Um, yeah, well, I might check it out at some point. Got a shit ton of games to play. I'm glad mm. the animated Flashpoint movie still exists. I'll just watch that again rather than watch the Flash movie. Good choice. Uh, I mean, in terms of, like, the first live-action Flash movie, to kind of try and make it Flashpoint seems, uh, kind of wild. You think that yeah. you tell a smaller, more focused story? You think that you think that the Flash would get that? It's not like the Flash is some C-tier, you know, superhero in terms of uh, being known. But, eh, oh well. Uh, been like two weeks, so here's a crispy critter. Thank you. Oh, wow. Nice. Yum. I hear that Halo theme stuck in your head, Moolah. Could have been Halo. Could have been something else. I do not remember, but fair enough. It's a good thing to get stuck in your head. Mm-hmm. Night Shift 1982. Michael Keaton and Henry Winkler work in a morgue becoming pimps. Hilarity ensues. I recommend if you haven't seen it. That's oh. interesting. All right. Yeah. This one just says, was it heavy spoilers? We must have been talking about whether or not we saw a video about something and they were asking if that was the channel. Not sure, I'm afraid. Um, thanks for the hours upon hours of YouTube content, criticism to distract me through some uh, real insanity. You guys are gems, even you metal, and you give me an interesting idea of what to now I have my life back, what to do now, I guess. Thanks for the microphone recommendation. No problemo whatsoever. Hope you're doing well, sir. Um, howdy howdy was back watching the tomorrow war stream and I know edge of tomorrow was mentioned I know drinker has a video, but what else? Uh, what is everyone else's opinion? I did enjoy it as an action action movie. I Enjoyed the hell out of it um, uh, But don't think too hard about it cuz it falls the fuck apart It is a big yeah, house of cards that the set of mechanics in that film It's not to say there's nothing to praise once you figure out how much nothing makes any sense There's plenty of character stuff. that's really fun especially yeah um, before they start devising big plans related to the time travel -y sort of reset stuff. It's a tough one uh, to have nailed, and it just... There's so many questions that get raised as to, like, why this would be the case, and how both teams could manipulate it if they had more of an understanding of the mechanics, which, for some reason, the audience does after, like, an hour. It's, it's, it's a whole thing. We'd have to go over it, but it's a pretty neat movie. I am in favor of a sequel of it. I know a lot of people are. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a, a sequel. Uh, Spide it's problems because it does have those redeeming qualities yeah found out amy acker wasn't supposed to be main cast crazy to think how different that show would have been i mean uh well i mean i think we know what show they're talking about but we can't really talk about it too much right oh fuck i was thinking of amy um adams instead of acker my bad oh no 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 uh yes uh, yeah show. i mean that happens with uh some tv shows where a character will be brought on uh, in a recurring capacity, and then, you know, after a little while, they'll they'll get to be a series is, regular. 
funnily enough, a couple of them in that show, both shows. The uh, people that turned up them, to yeah. fill some I mean, slots temporarily. The people like, wow, you're one good. One character in particular, you know? Who knows? Yep. <laughs> well, I mean, the, I'd say that two shows are pretty significantly different. Um, oh, and that's even that's just one example. If you keep going, yeah, jeez. <laughs> you should think. Doomcock on sometime. Not a big fan of his videos myself, but he's always good on live streams and usually has interesting takes. Sure. Love him on. Talk about, I don't know, probably Star Wars. Either that or Marvel. How things are going. Uh, Ahsoka's great. I wonder if <laughs> I wonder if he likes Ahsoka. I don't know. Uh, seeing Flash just wanted me to see Jeffrey Dean Morgan as Thomas Wayne Batman and Lauren, Lauren Cohen as Martha Wayne Joker even more. Such a waste. Yeah, those were the... They were cast They're in the flashback. Flash Right? Yeah, that's right. So if they were doing Flashpoint and they were trying to adapt it from the comics, it should have been Thomas Wayne. Uh, yeah, and because uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan's fan cast, quote unquote, and it's like, well, it's this precedent already. He was. It's not a fan cast. If yeah. you know, if we're doing like alternate timelines, and he was Thomas Wayne, then they could have done that. And yeah, a lot of people nope. talked about this, and it's just like, yep, that would have been the easy win. Obviously, that film still could have been awful, but that sounds like the kind of thing they should have done. Well, you and it'd really be a little to... bit different, right? You'd have a Batman, but you wouldn't be doing Bruce Wayne again. You'd have a variation of Batman rather than, you know, yeah. main, mainline Batman, essentially. A lot of breathing room. But those nostalgia, you know, we got to... That was the... That's the era of nostalgia, you know? Mm-hmm. Yep. Hello, EFAP crew. I recently finished the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and I loved it, especially the final battle outside of the Gates of Mordor. Lord of the Rings is oh. goated. It's just... Mm -hmm. Top fucking tier movie. It's really great. Very high tier. Glad you enjoyed it. The Flash should have had a bunch of calorie mate. Oh, is that like a thing to do with keeping like drink calories or, uh, up or whatever? Maybe, like yeah. Thing you eat is just pure calories. Uh, I mean, dumb as fuck that he was low on food. Yeah. Like you should account for that at all times. It's the only that thing that stops him. Be just something there. Yeah. Uh, isn't like a maybe maybe like a what? How's how's an EpiPen work? That the for diabetes is that like? Oh, you could get an I, equivalent, I, I suppose, yeah, an injection I get some, in emergencies. Some kind of like thing that you can hold on you uh, that can just give you a shot of, you know. Well, the energy. funny thing is, yeah. at that point, Pouches you just need like something. protein paste or something that you can just go squelch yeah, exactly. and then go, go, go. Which, how hard is that to just carry around when you're a Dunno. superhero? You should have little compo compartments on his suit, shouldn't he? It would make the most sense. Yes, uh, more pouches, so. yeah, please. Exactly. Yes. More pouches. Reg make no, no pouches, pouches allowed. Normalize, normalize <laughs> pouches. Uh, this bat suit reminds me of a bundle of sticks. Wow. You just hating on Batman's new cool polyfiber micro Diana LeBand Nino machines. It's it's super cool and not cringe at all. Uh the fake fat Batman from T uh, the Dark Knight looked better. Oh yeah, the fake one from the opening. He did look probably better than whatever the hell they were thinking. <laughs> Oof. Uh, why did Batman glue those plastic rings that hold six packs of soda together on his suit? I don't know. It looked awful. You didn't record the thing? Why not? Please. We don't. We, we watch a lot of movies we don't record. Most of it is just us watching movies. the movies. We're not like... Yeah. yeah. Sometimes we watch it just for us. Yeah. In fact, more often than more not. More often than not. <laughs> Yeah, most Obviously, seen. when we're recording free fat movies, we're like, "Oh shit, we should actually like commentate and transform, and you know, have something to entertain you, folks." Which uh, sometimes we're like, "You know what? It'd be nice to just but, sit you know, back when... and enjoy." Because when I go to the theater to watch a movie, oh, God. and people talk, <laughs> that makes me really fucking mad. Shut the fuck up! Shut up! Why don't you shut the fuck up, please? <laughs> What, what, remember the, uh, remember when, uh, it, it was, uh, here's your Simpsons reference for this one, and, uh, you know when, uh, uh, Sideshow Bob was in the theater? Yeah, that's the Cape <laughs> Fear reference. Just cackling Cape Fear reference, that's right. <laughs> and then, what was it? He was smoking, and it's just like, how obnoxious is he, and then Homer's got a massive cigar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, Cape Fear, so good. Have you guys seen the movie Seventh Seal? No. No, Seventh nope. Seal. I have not seen that. Maybe the point of the Clooney scene is that the Flash is now out of the DCU. He just forever stuck in the Bat Nipple universe, never to be seen again. Uh, I have no idea what we're meant to make of it. And I don't think uh, we'll see I anything no about it ever again. No, it's they're not gonna. They, there'll be nothing related to it. Like the 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 idea 
Which, by the way, I, I don't know whether I think that this is, like, a smart move or if it's stupid and annoying of James Gunn pretending that these films will lead into the DCEU. They don't and they won't, and I'm not sure why he said that they will. I don't get it. Like, what, what do you think Aquaman 2 is going to do to lay down the groundwork <laughs> for Superman Legacy? Like, come on. No. Uh, part... This is part one in Superman 78. How do you guys feel about time travel in it? Do you guys think that it's ridiculous that Superman does that or that it's a or that it's a cop out? Uh, it's insane. Oh, in the, like, orig in the original really Superman to spin the planet back with I don't so think anybody ed, nobody's stupid. defending that mechanically, okay? It's insane. Yeah, I not only do I think that's dumb, I actually hate it. Um that's a part of that I like that movie, but I actively really despise that that happens. Because I think not only does it create issues for his power level and things of that nature, but I think it actively works against an established early theme of the movie for Superman, which is um, when uh, Pa Kent dies. And he says, despite how powerful and everything I am, I still couldn't prevent his death. It's like, well... Mm -hmm. You literally can, though. Actually, uh, you just spin <laughs> yeah, the world yeah, around. Yeah, you, you can see. Uh, yeah, you it, can see how does... they made it. They were like, he's so upset and he's so traumatized by the dad having had that happen that he's just not going to let it happen. Superman will literally turn back time with the power of flying around Earth to save this person. And it's like, okay, but that's insane. <laughs> and that's and like, and then it's going to be repeatable, of course. Every single thing that he ever has to deal with, he can just do that. It's uh, the problem that you do when when your way to solve the big problem is time travel, because it's like an endgame. Oh, fuck, why aren't you guys doing this every time? Or, you know, the Flash in, uh, in Snyder Cut. Oh, you gotta break the one rule. It's like, what do you mean? Every time you're about to... Every time the end of the world is about to happen, just do this. Uh, they, I, think, it's, yeah. I think they follow up with saying, yeah, I like that it was Superman's choice to do it, reminding himself of his dad dying with Jor-El saying, you can't do it. Like I said, I understand why they did it. I know why they did it, but like it's just ill-advised, and you can achieve similar mm. things without doing it that way. Also, how do you feel yep. about the Donna cut in two? Um, at this point, I'd need to rewatch it. I'm so again. far away from having seen it. I think I was asked to talk about it on a different stream, and I was like, "Fuck, mm -hmm. I, my memory is so weak on it at this point." Um, uh, it makes sense for the story for this movie is so solid. Joe B. Harold of Kenobi fame wrote it. How do these people keep getting hired? Uh, <laughs> that's an age-old question. I don't get it. I don't get it. Barry tells his teacher, and it triggers a DHS investigation that results in Barry being removed from his home because his mum was high the whole time. I'm not sure what that relates to exactly. I'm a little confused. But all right. Not gonna lie, seeing Glasgow City Center at the start of the movie made me smile. What did they? What they did to it made me angry. High rags. Hello. Oh, because they shot in uh in Glasgow, did they? Hmm. I guess so. Uh, two hours late to EFAP. They're just beginning. <gasps> yeah, I mean that's mm. kind of true. That sometimes is the case. Uh, most of the DC films themselves aren't anywhere near as interesting as watching the production and promotional blunders that just keep happening. Yeah, I mean a lot of the time <laughs> discussing the matter of film is more interesting than the films themselves. Mm -hmm. Uh. You're a mad goose wizard, Barry. Uh, an alternate timeline. Idea, do an EFAP movie's animated Flashpoint movie in the Flash back-to-back -back like the Mulan one. This is an idea, yeah. We need. We got a whole That's list of uh, animated classics versus the horrible remakes to do as well. Uh, well, I mean, you know, Snow White's coming out next year. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Let's not forget the Flash uh, production designer said the movie was so good that you'd forget all of Ezra Miller's crimes. <laughs> I, 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 like, why would you say that? Uh, See, it's stuff like that, and then what was it that the director said that, that he couldn't imagine anybody else playing the Flash? Yeah. Like, come on. What do you, yeah. come on, come on. <laughs> um, so, what about it, lads? Think it made you forget? No, the, the, the whole movie was such a fucking cloud fest that you just think about the better, it's even more cloud vesty. It's, it's, like, it's hard not to think about the better when you're yeah. watching that film. Um, hello, you wonderful masses. First time live. Couldn't resist hearing your orgasmic voices for real. Working in the game industry mm. has similar problems, so I'm glad you are voicing some well-earned criticism to the tisms. Love you and high ranks. Oh, hello. Uh, 
Hey, what I I'm not what tism what what would that have been specifically the tism of because I mean there's there's a few tisms in well, the I, gaming industry. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not sure which they're talking yeah. about, but we talk about game industry tisms a lot. That's true. A shilling for the multiverse meter. Thank you. Jeez, Flashpoint Paradox is essentially the same movie, and it was so much better. I love the letter at the end from Thomas Wayne to Bruce. <laughs> well, this time we had uh, Bruce Wayne to. Dying. The Flash, on there was a was it, was he voicing over? I can't fucking remember. Whatever, better forget that movie. Um, Basil Exposition. Best not to think about it too much. A lot of people reference that as a great example. I I never understand it's when they put it as, alongside serious films. It's like, what are you doing? Like, oh, so they should have done joke this. Or not. It's a fucking parody of film. Why would you suggest that that's what they should have done or something? It's like, that's, see, Austin Powers did it right. It's like, well, hang on. Austin Powers... Wait, they, they made a joke of how <laughs> absurd it is. They they made a joke about the lampshading nature of it. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a little bit different than... I don't, we... I don't... It's... What a, I don't get the attitude of, yeah, don't think about the thing that I've created. Why, why would that be the attitude? It would be like if a painter said, just imagine that it's, like, painted correctly. <laughs> just imagine that, you know, it's got the correct perspective. You break the sound barrier, sonic boom. You break the time barrier, time boom. Reverse flash from a better flash time travel film. I mean, I would still be like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> but I, I get Time you. boom. Hey Massive, supposing you had to work a time travel plot into a pre-existing IP that wasn't built for it, what would your number one time travel rule be to hold it all in check? Also, hi Rags. Uh... Hello, first off, by number one time mm. travel rule... Um... I might try and institute, no matter what, there has to be dire negative consequences whenever anyone uses this tech. Mm -hmm. like, there yeah. has yeah, some sort of limiter on how the ability can be used. To something to to make it where it can't be a reoccurring thing. That's probably the main thing, because yeah, we need to dissuade people from using it ever, and you need to understand why nobody in the universe would ever use it. Maybe, uh, maybe the thing I'd have is Terminator. The fact that you can't go back is kind of a it's kind of a useful thing. It means that if you achieve sure. your goal, you. You you never get to see the outcome. You never yeah, get and you to see and you know going in like this is essentially like say goodbye to your life. You know exactly that it's essentially you're sacrificing your life for this. That's one way to do it. I uh, I wonder how tempted I would be to do the whole thing if you never could have changed the past. Like whatever it was that you were looking for was impossible because of the temporal mutability thing. Mm. You know, like that any any time travel is already baked into the existence that you already have. So. You can't change it, because that's usually what the story's about, right? Changing the past, and then the realization is, you didn't change it, maybe. Or, or rather, it was always, it was, it was gonna happen, because of the way that, you know, time travel memes work. Not that you made it so, but that it always was, and that there was nothing you could do to change it. But not, but not like the way that The Flash does, Nev. You just gotta, you just gotta let go, remember? Like that maths equation. Oh, God. <laughs> so like, oh, stupid. Not, not, not like the principally you need to let it go, but that there is actually nothing that you can do. Like it's it's this is just the way that it works. You're you're stuck. You can't you can't actually solve this problem. Uh anyone else real sad Mando turned out the way that it did? I remember hoping yes. it was yeah. going to be a cool episodic series like contracts from Witcher 3. Yeah, we were all very excited I want a for fucking Mando. Space Bounty Hunter thing. I just want it. I want other than Three Metroid, seasons. which is now, which imagine is now back. Dropping yep. three seasons of Space Bounty Hunter and Star Wars as a TV show with high budget, with, but, uh, actual, with good, actual and, artists and writers, behind it, and know? then we're like, oh, well, no. What I'm saying is like, if you <laughs> hadn't seen it, and then you're like, oh, by the way, Fringy, like, you know, you, did you know, there's three seasons of a sci-fi fantasy show in the Star Wars set in the Star Wars universe. After production values, great writing about a space bounty hunter that deals. I'm not with talking about in theory. Boundaries. Because great writing would be nice, but it's not. I'm telling you stuff that's actually true. High budget, oh, yeah, created yeah, by yeah. people who you consider to be artists, like in the Star Wars universe, about Mandalorians who are pretty neat and cool. Pedro Pascal is the main character. It's like, oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. And then you watch that, and you're like, oh. Fuck, man. It just, it, 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 it has every reason to be good. But the only not. episode but the writing was that shit. is close to what the show should have been is it's episode one. one. Oh, and episode one. I was thinking the Pershing episode, which uh, unfortunately I guess I didn't go it, yeah. anywhere. 
Yeah, I was going to say, I wouldn't count the Pershing episode as what it should be. (laughs) No, 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 no. That was like some experiment that managed to get through because some guy who wasn't a typical writer for the show managed to get his ideas through. Uh, um, Who's edgier? ER, Flash Gits, or Edgy the Hedgy? You think any of them could compete with Shadow, uh, really? Obviously, Shadow the Hedgehog is the edgiest of them all. How dare you imply it it could have been. Kind of embarrassing to even suggest someone could beat him, but whatever. Wow. Really considering sitting this one out, figured I'd watch it just for Michael Keaton. Sounds like he cannot even save this film. Should have just got Grant Gustin to be in the film, uh, Flash, but whatever, I guess. Also, hi, Mola. Uh, I mean, still wouldn't have saved the scripts, but... <laughs> yeah, it would have been shit even with him. But uh, it would have been more palatable, I suppose. It's... Yeah. It was just a clusterfuck. Finally got one of these bad boys live. Y'all keep me entertained at work for hours. Uh, much love to all who participate. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, thanks very much. I'm very glad that you enjoy. Every time the Flash goes back in time, there should be a Flash from the past, so even in Snyder Hell movie, there should be two Flashes. Oh, the the the, the part of the end where they go back again, again, and again, and again, and again. Uh, <laughs> there, should be, there should be an army of Flashes, but there just isn't. Yeah, there should be a bajillion. But for some reason, all the time travel is happening within that weird fucking CG sphere bullshit. Yeah. God, that was a misguided... Yeah. What the fuck were they thinking with those visuals? It was stylistically oh supposed to be like that. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to look awful. Yeah, that's uh, right. Uh, the multiverse pulling another film's characters lived well and died with No Way Home. MOM is the second and final nail that shows hijacking old films and forcing them into su- substanceless sludge. Won't function on its own. The cope for Multiverse back when it released was um, oh, yeah. that this is the point that the film is trying to say you do not want this and that they kill all those characters Fuck in front of you to be like, on. see? And it's no, just like, no, no it was just nah, shit. Come on. It was awful. And they want to do fucking Secret yeah. Wars. So the idea that they're yeah, trying to convince yeah. you out of it when they want to make a multi Sam Raimi is theoretically going to be the potential director. It's like, yeah, you really think like, his whole point uh, is never do Multiverse? <laughs> like, no. That's going to be a big ol' uh... And and plus, remember, Michael Waldron wrote it. Oh, God. Uh, I don't know what he was thinking, but, you know. I highly recommend the Skibidi Toilet series. Best series ever created no. on YouTube. Zero dialogue, better story than the new Disney or DC or Marvel. No, fuck that. Okay. Wait, what? I don't know what this I, is. I don't know what this is. Alrighty. <laughs> yeah, leave it that way. Cool to see Colin Sanders on, the guy whose Snyder video you covered here for the death of the not-so-quite-so-Snyderverse. Uh, quite it's like poetry, it rhymes. Yeah, it was cool to have him. It was, mm-hmm. yeah, absolutely. Uh, haven't seen Jay in a while, hope everything's okay between you guys. Every, also, hi Fringu, head pats for Plague Doctor. Do- doctor. Hi. <laughs> well, thanks. Um, everything's great for between us and, and Jay, but if you want to know updates, I'd rather not say anything myself, just say, like, there's a community post on Jay's channel about, um... Just updates about things happening and stuff if you wanted to find out more. Uh, are Flash and Barry having internal monologue debates in aerial font where they have to convince each other? Is there a Flash off? This is a Gollum reference. And of course, uh, Evil Flash won the argument for a long time until Flash finally won the argument. Oh my goodness. Gollum wins the argument against all. He is pretty powerful when it comes to argument stuff. It is true. Uh... A champion of modern debate. I would have liked to have seen Gollum versus um, Christopher Hitchens, but you know you can't ask for everything, I guess. I guess can't be choosers. That Gollum versus Christopher Hitchens. <laughs> <laughs> On the existence of cod. Yes. Extinct See, animal of the day. A, that's, a fi- that's a fish and an atheism joke, all wrapped up into one. Chapa, Chapalmelania. Chapalmelania. The king of the trash pandas, apparently. Oh my goodness. That's what it, in theory, looked like, I guess. That's what, what a strange critter. Yeah. We had all kinds of stuff on this planet, huh? We still do. Kind of. Still going. Still stuff. Um, and that's it for the Flash ones. If you maybe didn't hear yours read out, um, I did read a couple of these out on a different catch-up by accident once. Um, so... Well, uh, I'm not sure which one it would be at this point, but um, we've covered all the ones that I had, uh, other than a couple that were like straggling, med read differently. But um, yes, that's that. Thank you very much, all of you, for sending in your messages for your kind donations. We shall see you on whatever the next thing may or may not be. But for now, right. toodle beep. 
Cheerio. Bye. Bye, everybody. Toodaloo.